This is uh, StopTheGreatLakesNuclearDump.com. I'm just checking out their Facebook page. And they have this graphic here. It really shows how hardcore that these Canadian legislators are to putting a nuke dump just less than a mile from the Great Lakes. And abandoning radioactive nuclear waste less than one mile from the Great Lakes. Drinking water for over 40 million. And also Nestle likes to take that water and sell it to us as well. There are only three deep nuclear waste dumps on our entire planet, and all have leaked nuclear waste. Please sign and share the petition. And if you could please also like his Facebook page, StopTheGreatLakesNuclearDump.com. It's got a lot of great graphics on this. <clears throat> we just need to spread the awareness. Canada is poised to approve burying and abandoning radioactive nuclear waste less than one mile from the Great Lakes. No other sites were considered because putting nuclear waste on a Great Lake? Bad idea. Why would anyone want to put nuclear waste dump near any body of water? I think it is unconscionable that you would even consider something that could have such far-reaching consequences for so many future generations. It is time our government actually listens to the people that elected them. Stop this nonsense before it's too late. Twenty-one percent of the planet's fresh water is on the Great Lakes. This is from a reverend. To put at risk the largest freshwater lakes in the world to nuclear contamination is simply obscene. There is no good or safe way to get rid of nuclear waste, but burying it on the very shores of the Great Lakes is utter insanity. It must not be allowed. It is long past time we switch to renewable energies and end the unholy pollution of our sacred planet. But the very idea of putting nuclear waste so close to the Great Lakes is and virtually guarantees a poison holocaust in both Canada and the United States. Couldn't say it better myself, Reverend. Canada is a big country. If they really need to do this, it should be done far from civilization and lakes. Please don't poison our land and water. And if you look at the Canadian-U.S. border on that eastern coast, you will find all of Canada's nuclear plants. They're right on the border of the United States. Maybe they think we love radiation, so they're giving it to us. That's what it's come down to. I mean, if you look at the NRC, how they keep raising the limits, they think that we love it. The federal panel approves dangerous plan despite the fact that consultants they hired plainly state it's not credible, not defensible, and not reliable. The last place to bury radioactive nuclear waste is right beside the largest source of drinking water on our planet. Yet this is precisely what Canada plans to do. Bury radioactive nuclear waste less than one mile from the Great Lakes. I understand it has to go somewhere, but to put it so close to such a vital resource is just unacceptable. Find a new spot. Put it in your damn backyard. This is insane! It's the greatest freshwater natural resource in the world at serious risk of being polluted by nuclear waste. Find some other place in your huge country to put it. Preferably not by any lake or any stream or any great lake or any water source. On August 26th of 2015, 
In Ontario, unanimously passes a resolution opposing the King Cardian nuclear waste dump or any other nuclear waste dump in the Great Lakes Basin. Thank you, North Northumberland County Council, for your leadership. So there, there are a few sane people left. We need to ensure a healthy future for all generations to come. This is not the way. It's not fair to leave our children with such a big burden that will last many generations. We can do much better than this. My heart goes out to our land and all those yet to come. What kind of life are we leaving to those who will call us ancestors one day? No nuclear waste dump anywhere near our Great Lakes. It is all interconnected, supplying drinking water for so many. There are so many ways out there. Let's create a safe, loving, and healthy future for our children now that is something to leave behind. Let's create a safe, loving, and healthy future for our children. Now that is something to leave behind. Let's not leave this nuclear waste dump right under the greatest, freshest water lakes of the world. Why isn't this an election issue in Canada? I think really, I mean, it's going to affect America a lot more than Canada. Of course, there's, there's there's a lot of Canadians here on the border. They aren't going to like it. It's going to affect them. But the majority of Canada, I mean, it, it maybe will. I mean, the way water spreads, you really never know. Here's a great point. Fukushima was never supposed to happen. The WIP, the Waste Isolation Pilot Plant, that was supposed to hold nuclear waste for millions of years, was not supposed to blow up in less than 10 years. And now they want to put nuclear waste underneath the Great Lakes, and that's supposed to last millenniums? There's no way. That thing will probably be leaking within the first few years. And then, who knows, in 10 years from now, you're going to have nuclear waste, which there's already probably plenty from the 16 nuclear reactors that are already on the Great Lakes, but we don't need even more. Report approves burial radioactive nuclear waste less than one mile from the Great Lakes. Here's the comment. How could you even think of doing something this close to the Great Lakes Basin? This is fresh water that you and all of our children and grandchildren will be pulling from for life. There's not enough money in this world that should come before the safety of our drinking water. Amen. Here's a geologist talking about it. Speaking as a geologist and retired curator of geology, University of Toronto, this plan is criminally negligent at best, ecologically and environmentally naive. This is not a solution, it is merely dumping the problem on future generations. What a legacy to leave. This is an unbelievably bad idea. These waters are precious. We should be cleaning up the mess we've already made, not putting them and ourselves in greater jeopardy. This course of action is bad science, bad stewardship, bad management, and just a very bad, bad idea. Look at Japan. You think you are smart enough to store this waste near water? The Japanese thought they were smart enough. How is that working out? The Great Lakes are not the ocean. Poison one, poison us all. I am very opposed to this and demand on behalf of my family and future to find other alternatives for waste other than around our Great Lakes. Protect our lakes and our people. This is insane. There are some instances where damage to our environment can be reversed. Hazards posed by this project could be devastating and irreversible. I am not sure these people understand the significance of fresh water. I think they do understand the significance. They want to monopolize water. 
They want to monopolize your air. They want to monopolize your food. They want to monopolize your thoughts. This plan needs to be fought against by everyone and everywhere. This is reckless and destructively stupid plan. No scientist or person can guarantee hundreds of thousands of years of protection for this waste. We are sealing the fate of over 40 million people who depend on the largest fresh water source in the world. This decision will affect and change our planet and civilization for the remainder of our time here. Let's work together to make the right choice and stop this ridiculously stupid plan of putting nuclear waste underneath the Great Lakes. What possible reason could be good enough for putting a nuclear dump near the Great Lakes? Have the authorities gone mad? With this vast, uninhibited space we have in this country, away from the Great Lakes, surely there are other options. This plan shows total disregard for future generations and our most precious resource, clean, fresh water. They're doing it on purpose. They want to kill you. What other reason can there be? Please tell me. I don't know how to say this other than this is an act of insanity. This would be a crime against future generations. This is a crime against nature. We know what's in this nuclear waste and to even conceive burying it within one kilometer of these lakes is absolutely the most terrible idea I could have ever thought. This is from Made Barlow, National Terrorist Person Council of Canadians. She's reporting on how they just gave the green light to bury this nuclear waste underneath the Great Lakes. It truly is insane. This cannot be allowed to happen. The plan is absurd. It's dangerous, incomprehensible, and dangers our beautiful Great Lakes. No, no, no. The plan defies common sense. Help us defeat it. As the NDP official opposition critic for Great Lakes and Canada-US border, I believe the government of Canada and the government of Ontario need to find ways to deal responsibly with the growing problem of nuclear waste in Ontario. Ontario Power Generation plans to bury and abandon nuclear waste right beside the Great Lakes without having considered any other sites. It's simply not a responsible plan. I encourage all Canadians to speak out for the protection of the Great Lakes, a national treasure, by signing Stop the Lakes nuclear dump petition and by urging their elected members of parliament to call for the government of Canada and the government of Ontario to reject the plan and to protect our Great Lakes Basin. Even though I don't live there, this defies logic. Assume it is safe. One leak and millions are left without clean water. Not worth the risk to people, the land, or the animals. Would you bury poison beside your well? <laughs> That's what they're doing. Poison the well. They're poisoning you. Why aren't they in jail? Who the heck thought this would even be close to a reasonable solution? Water is already on the verge of being a global issue. And you want to bury nuclear waste near one of the world's largest freshwater lakes? Are you out of your mind? The only three deep nuclear waste dumps on our planet to have held nuclear waste have all leaked. I am only 12 and I know this is wrong. Yep. Yeah. Doesn't take a brain surgeon, doesn't take a rocket scientist, it doesn't take it doesn't take a teacher, it it doesn't take you any type of common sense to know that this is a stupid idea.
if you have any morals ethics honor or simple common sense you will not dump death into life That's right Canadians I know Canadians deep down in your hearts you know this is a bad idea and unfortunately just like the United States the leaders that are in power are controlling they're rolling the dice on everyone we gotta stop this it's the worst place the worst idea to put it U.S. Senator from Michigan, Debbie, has taken numerous actions in her opposition to the King Kardashian nuclear waste. King Kardashian nuclear waste repository, including <laughs> including introducing Senate Resolution 134 into U.S. Senate. The Great Lakes are really about our way of life. It's in our DNA. It's about the economy. It's the tourism. But most importantly, it's about a very precious resource that we have a responsibility to protect. As you sip your morning coffee tea, let's just take a moment really fast to sign this petition. As you sip your morning coffee and tea, take a moment to sign this petition to stop the Great Lakes nuclear dump. No coffee and tea without water, right? Sign it today, please. You can go petition.com, petitions, stop the Great Lakes nuclear dump. It is absolutely unacceptable to endanger the largest source of fresh water in the world. There is no scenario where the risks posed by this nuclear waste repository are acceptable. I encourage everyone, regardless of what country or region you reside in, to fight to keep our fresh water and our greatest natural resource safe and to ensure that this challenge to our planet's well-being is not approved. There you go. Less than a mile from the Great Lake. And of course, they're putting it underneath the ground. So it's going to be surrounded by this Lake Huron water. And if we have a situation how we had in WIP, which was the United States, their only repository. And what happened with WIP is once they blew up, they couldn't go in there. They couldn't use the facility. They had to lock it all down. Just billions of dollars just thrown away. So you have a situation where it's in Lake Huron and we have a situation like we had at WIP. Forget about it. We can't even go in there. We can't even uh, stop the waste from continually going into Lake Huron. Once the waste is there, it is, that's it. It's goodbye uh, Lake Huron and the Great Lakes for that matter. And the 40 million people that live around there are going to become a, a nuclear wasteland. Memorial Day is a time to solemnly remember and honor those who gave their lives to fight for us. Perhaps standing up for the Great Lakes, a national treasure, might be appropriate on this solemn day. Consider taking this opportunity to sign and share the petition to stop the Ontario power generation from burying and abandoning its radioactive nuclear waste less than one mile from the shores of the Great Lakes.
stop the Great Lakes Nuclear Dump dot com. It's short sighted and very dangerous and act of contempt towards humans life. Unbelievable that they can actually think that this is a safe thing to do. Nuclear waste should never be deposited anywhere near water sources, especially drinking water. Water is a limited, finite, natural resource which needs to be protected at all costs. Look at the huge droughts that are going on, on the West Coast. People's wells, they've dug 50, 100 feet and they're, they're dry. Water is a finite resource. It's dwindling and that's what they want to do. They want to charge you five bucks for a cup of water. Thank you.